tonight with that breaking news on abortion legislation at the Rhode Island State House. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Mike Montecalvo. Within the last hour, the House of Representatives has passed the bill that would protect a woman's right to an abortion and clarifies when a so-called late-term abortion would be considered legal. This is a hot button issue that brings out strong feelings from people for and against the legislation. Tonight's vote followed hours of testimony this week. And we have team coverage tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshito is standing by with interviews from those on both sides. But first, Steph Machado is live at the State House with the latest. Steph. Well, that vote was about 45 minutes ago. The House passing the abortion rights bill by a vote of 44 to 30, a fairly split vote for this heavily Democratic chamber. After the vote happened, there was a loud cry of applause from pro-choice advocates who were in the gallery as the tally was read. Many of the female legislators wore white for the occasion as a tribute to women's suffrage. Prior to the vote, there was a four and a half hour debate. It was a very personal issue for many lawmakers on both sides. Many felt that a woman has a right to choose choose um, whether or not to have an abortion, but some had concerns about the bill allowing late-term abortions, if necessary, to protect the life and health of the mother. Here are some of the viewpoints from those who voted against and for the bill. We're talking about, if not an actual life, but a potential life. So either way, you are terminating a potential life or an actual life. Who are we to decide who's going to live and who's going to die today? Who are we? All right. I look and I say, how about the decision of that unborn infant that's in the womb? Despite whatever personal or religious beliefs we may hold, despite whatever we may feel we would do personally if we were ever put in this situation, we have an obligation in this chamber to acknowledge that a woman's right to choose is a private one. It's not going tomorrow is not going to be a different day than today. 46 years we've had this right. We need to continue it. We need to preserve it for the women of the state of Rhode Island. And Democratic House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello voted against the bill. It's certainly rare for the Speaker to allow a bill to come to the floor that he doesn't support, but he says he recognized that a majority of his chamber did support the bill, and so it was brought to the floor, allowed to debate, and everyone voted their conscience. And in fact, a pretty split vote for, again, a heavily Democratic chamber, 22 Democrats joining eight Republicans in voting against it. Mike and Shannon. And Steph, just because the House voted to approve this legislation, it's not a done deal yet. So what's the next step in the process? Right, so it still needs to go through the Senate. I was just actually texting with the Senate spokesman, Greg Perry, who says there is no timeline yet for a vote on this bill in the Senate. We do know that Governor Gita Raimondo supports it, so the Senate is really that main hurdle that it needs to go through next. The Senate Judiciary Committee did hear testimony on this the other day. In fact, the testimony going until 6 o'clock in the morning, but again, no vote scheduled in the Senate yet.